Santa Claus calling with help from my good friends at Carter Thompson, the independent market research company. May I please speak to the youngest member of the household? Oh, good morning. This is Santa Claus calling with help from my good friends at Carter Thompson, the independent market research company. May I please confirm that I am speaking to the youngest member of the household? Hello? 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 Oh, hello, yes. Yes, that was lovely. It was so nice to speak to the youngest member of the household. Thank you. Aren't kittens cute? Sadly, I don't deliver to cats most of the time. May I please speak to the youngest human in the household? Oh, good morning. This is Santa Claus calling with help from my good friends at Carter Thompson, the independent market research company. May I please confirm that I'm speaking to the youngest human in the household? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, that's all very nice. Maybe I could... Oh, hello again. Thank you. I'm sure that was the youngest human in the household, and yes, that was rather an amusing joke. You got me with that one, too. You know, sometimes a piece of coal in an adult's stocking is a good joke, too. May I please speak to the youngest human in the household who has learned to talk English, please? Ah, hello, this is Santa Claus calling. Oh, hello, Campbell, this is Santa... Yes, yes, of course I'm the real Santa. Oh, yes, really, as I was saying, this is... Oh, yes, yes, you would have seen me at the local shopping centre. Oh. Oh, I have a very white beard. Sometimes it does look a little bit pretend, but... Oh, did I? Oh, did I really smell like that is beer? Well, that is strange. I'm sorry about that. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think I was drunk, like Mummy sometimes says Daddy is. No, anyway, as I was saying, this is Santa Claus. Yes, yes, the real Santa Claus, calling with help. Yes, calling with help from my friends at Carter Thompson, the independent... Independent? Yes, it's a big word, isn't it? Independent just means that they aren't run by an organisation that would want them to lie to people. Oh yes, lying is bad. My friends at Carter Thompson, the independent market research company, don't lie. They're helping me call you. May I please confirm that I am speaking to the youngest member of the household? No, 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 no. Yes, yes, he did hand me over to his little sister, who can't talk. Yes, yes, it was rather amusing. May I please speak to Campbell again? Oh, hello again, Campbell. This is Santa. Yes, yes, the real one. Good morning, this is Santa Claus calling with help from my good friends at Carter Thompson and the Independent Market Research Company. May I please confirm that I am speaking to the youngest member of the household who is a big grown-up boy and is able to help me by answering a few questions. Oh, yes, it sounds like you are a big grown-up boy. Thank you, Cameron. Oh, sorry, it's Campbell. How silly of me, sorry. Now, today's survey will take about five minutes to complete. I am offering the chance to enter the draw to receive a really nice present for the good boys and girls who help me. All responses will be kept in strict confidence and used only to generate my annual list. Would now be a convenient time to go through the survey with you? Oh yes, my famous list. See, I've made a list of all the children in the world. Now I've got to check it twice. That's the rules would now be a convenient... Oh yes, we can get on to what you'd like for Christmas in a little bit. Would now be a convenient time to go through the survey? Oh, thank you. Now, during the course of this interview, my elves may listen in or record... Oh yes, they're very nice elves. They're all nice. Oh, there are some very special ones like Anna C, 
Joel C. and Vasi, who may listen in or record this call for training or quality control purposes. And now for some questions. What would you like for Christmas? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm. And one of those. Right, right, can I ask you to slow down a little? I'm typing what you're saying word for word and... Okay, so a pony, a machine gun, and a phone for S. Who's S? Oh, an iPhone for S. Is S your little sister? An iPhone 4S. Oh, that sounds very interesting. Okay, an iPhone 4S with silly... Not silly. Oh, I'm silly. Oh, Siri. Okay, so a pony, an iPhone 4S with Siri. Yes, yes, I heard that bit about the pony. What else? Oh, okay, so you want Elmo. The real Elmo, the one from TV. Wouldn't everyone miss watching him? No, no, you wouldn't. But what about all the other boys and girls? Okay, so an Elmo toy. What else? A Hot Wheels wall tracks? A 50-inch Full HD plasma screen, TV, an Xbox, a PlayStation. I do have a rather small sleigh, you know. What else? Oh, you want your own flying reindeer? And a monster truck. I think I'm going to need a bigger sleigh. What else? And a house and an Elmo. I think you already said. And a big bird. And a baby brother. I think you better ask Mummy and Daddy about that one. Oh, hello, ma'am. Mm-hmm. No, ma'am, I certainly didn't promise him a baby brother. No, ma'am, I'm not promising anything. Oh, yes, ma'am, he did ask for a lot of things. You see, my instructions say probe to know, which means I have to keep asking, what else, even when I want to say that's enough? I have to keep asking until he says no twice. May I please speak to Campbell again? Oh, good morning again, Campbell. So what else would you like for Christmas? A camel and, and nothing else. What else would you like? Oh, nothing else. Oh, did she? Did your mum tell you to say that, did she? Well, it is very important to listen to our mummies and daddies, isn't it? What a very good boy you must be. Now, if you can, I would like you to try and remember the presents you got for Christmas last year and to answer the following questions relating to these presents. Firstly, on a scale of 1 to 10, where 1 is abysmal and 10 is exceptional, how would you rate the physical condition of last year's Christmas gift from me? Well, by physical condition, I mean were the gifts damaged in any way and were they usable and durable? Okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10, can you really, can you count to 10? Oh, that was very nice. You are good at counting, aren't you? So on a scale of 1 to 10, where 1 is abysmal and 10 is exceptional, how would you rate the physical condition of last year's Christmas gifts from me? So on a scale of 1 to 10, where 1 is abysmal, Oh, abysmal means terrible, horrible, awful, very bad indeed. And ten is exceptional. Oh, exceptional is very, very good. So on a scale of one to ten... Yes, yes, so a number between one and ten... Oh, is that your favourite number, is it? Oh, thank you for that. Now, still thinking about your Christmas from last year using the same scale, how would you rate the desirability of your gifts. By desirability, I mean, were last year's gifts what you really wanted? Could I have a number between 1 and 10? Thank you, and on the same scale? Oh, Mummy uses kitchen scales. 
Oh, and bathroom scales, but she doesn't like them. Is that what she calls the bathroom scales, is it? Oh, yes, yes, that is a naughty word. I'm sure you wouldn't use words like that one. But on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the relationship of last year's gifts to those you requested? Oh, by that I mean, did you get what you wanted for Christmas last year? Oh, and could you give me a number between 1 and 10? Oh, thank you for that. Now, thinking about the period between last Christmas and now, on a scale of 1 to 10, where 1 is abysmal and 10 is exceptional, how would you rate your behaviour? OK, so 1 is very, very bad and 10 is very, very good. How good have you been since last Christmas? Thank you. Now, since last Christmas, has your bedroom been neat and tidy at all times? Mmm. Now, have you, on every possible occasion, followed instructions from your mother and or father? Aha, uh -huh. and have you, on any occasion, eaten any foodstuff which you are not entitled to consume? Have you at all times treated your sibling or siblings with the utmost respect, with the utmost respect, care and kindness? Would you be willing for me to talk to your parents and or guardians to verify the veracity of the answers you've given me today? And now, just a question or two for our statistical purposes. Which age bracket do you come into? Would you be 0 to 1 years old? One to two years old, two to three years old, three to four, ooh, three and a half. And which ethnic group would you identify with? You can choose more than one. New Zealand, European or Pākehā, Māori, Pacific Islander, Chinese, Indian or other. So would that be New Zealand, European or Pākehā? Māori, Pacific Islander, Chinese, Indian, or other. OK, so we will put down don't know, I think. Now that is all the questions I have for you today. Have you any other siblings who would be able to talk to me? No? Well, thank you for your time today. Just to remind you, my name is Santa calling with help from Carter Thompson, the independent market research company. If you have any further questions, please feel free to call my elves on 0508 Research 0508 737317. Have a Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho.